And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, with temperatures in the 40s today, we continue this streak of above average conditions. The last 11 of 13 days have seen above average temperatures. Our normal high 35 for this time of year, and it's been a lot warmer in other parts of the country. And normally you go farther south to see warmer weather. Well, you just had to drive west. Take a look and we're from 25 to 30 degrees above normal for this time of year in the northern plains. We had parts of the northern plains rapid city. 70 degrees this afternoon. That's that warmer trend that's going to be heading in our way and we'll be seeing some 60s as early as Tuesday. Beautiful start to the day. Lots of sunshine out there and we continue that into the afternoon hours. Overall, we've have high pressure moving right across the upper Great Lakes and that's keeping us under nice and quiet conditions. But tomorrow, while it'll be somewhat similar with those high temperatures, we'll see a touch more wind flow coming in here out of the east and southeast. Right now, 27 degrees in Green Bay. We've got that wind out of the east light about six miles per hour, and we are seeing cooler temperatures in the north woods at 19 in Anago. Same thing in Pembine, lower and upper 20s across most of the Fox Valley. A little warmer right now in Kiwani. They're at 31. Ephraim holding on to 20 degrees right now. Winds will remain relatively quiet and calm, about five miles per hour at most at times out of the north, northeast. But then as we head into the day for tomorrow, winds are going to start to pick up out of the southeast. And you'll start to see these wind gusts start to pick up anywhere from about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Not out of the question. And maybe some locations could get close to 30 miles per hour. The reason why we're seeing that increased wind flow, high pressure right now overhead, but that's going to move off to the east. As it does so, warm front will be heading in here towards our direction, and that's going to help really bring those temperatures up into the 50s on Monday, and then 60s on Tuesday, and close to 60 degrees on Wednesday. But as for right now, we've got quiet skies, and with the calm winds, that's going to allow those temperatures that we saw in the 40s this afternoon to be cooling off into the upper teens and lower 20s overnight tonight. As we wake up tomorrow morning, could have some mid and high level cloud cover passing through, but we'll have mostly sunny skies overall. As we get towards Monday, however, it looks like some dense fog could develop. So as you're waking up and heading to work on Monday morning, watch out for some lower visibilities, but then we should be seeing clearing skies, a filter of some mid and high level cloud cover. Next chance of precipitation will be arriving here on Wednesday in the form of an area of low pressure. Could be some pretty good soaking rainfall that'll push through the entire Badger State. We're not expecting any snow out of this. And there's some hints that some locations might even have some rumbles of thunder. Now, how far north that chance of thunderstorms occurs remains to be the question. But right now, it does appear a pretty good amount of rainfall is possible. Anywhere from a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain out of this upcoming system, which will start to add a little bit more additional moisture onto the soil that's already a bit soggy right now. So something to monitor will be the river gauges over the coming days. 19 degrees with fair skies overnight tonight. As we get into tomorrow, we'll get up to high of 45 with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Overall, it's going to be a pretty very warm day out there with temperatures climbing up into the 50s and even some of the 60s. Take a look at that 62 degrees on Tuesday. Upper 50s on Wednesday with a chance of some rain, and then we do cool off by the weekend on Friday and Saturday with highs in the 40s. All right, thanks, Gino. Well, coming up on NBC 26, 